Hey everyone, look at the juice. This is one, show the juice color. Look at the beauty of that stuff. Beautiful. Casablanca, St. Clair Scents. Um, here's what I'm also wearing today. I have Casablanca on too, and this one. Um, I have a review coming up on this too. Gilded Age. Um, this <laughs> sampler is way too expensive. But they give you all your money back if you, you buy a bottle. I'm still deciding. Um, but Gilded Age, where I'm wearing, I love Gilded Age, so who knows? Um, anyway, some brand therapeutic fragrance. Um, almost an all natural. I thought it was an all natural when I bought it because that's what I'm moving into a lot. Or at least I, I want to heavily cover some main. There's not much to. Little battery jump. So as there's not much to cover, uh, naturals, it'll be quicker, a lot quicker as far as what I, I've already covered quite a few, but um, see a lot on Instagram. It's just, they don't provide samples. I can't, I'm not dropping money like that um, unless I know for sure they're good. I'm just at that point on my study and that just not gonna drop money uh, like that. If I find some cheap samples, highly regarded naturals, I'm all over them. Anyways, therapeutic fragrance, I'm branded. Oh. I put my whole journey out there for you. Unbelievable. Stay tuned. It's supposed to be best focusing camera ever. Oh, they have a newer version of the camera now, but. All right, Casablanca St. Clair fragrances. Hundred and ninety dollars thirty ml. This is fifty percent uh, ingredients. Keep that in mind when you look at that price, so you don't need as much. Twenty eighteen was the launch. Dion Saint Clair is the nose behind this. I'll go fifty fifty down the line on this. I, I think she calls an X ray. This should be pure parfum at fifty percent concentration. Gets four point two eight out of five on Fragranica. And notes are pink grapefruit, red mandarin, black currant, but absolute, orange blossom, absolute, tuberose, absolute, jasmine organic extract, ylang, ylang, labdanum, oak moss, vetiver, hy hyacium, absolute, civet, benzoin, and musk. Uh, this opens close to like Lost in Flowers by Strange Love, just this bouquet of love that happens. Remember that one? <laughs> That was $9 in ML. It wasn't even 50% concentration. Uh, it was only an order of perfume. This is literally pure perfume. They've classified it wrong, I, I think, at 50% ingredients, so keep that in mind again. Literally a bouquet of flowers on the application when you first put it on. What do I mean? Just like natural flowers, a bouquet of natural flowers, when you wave them around and whiff them around, you get different aromatics, you get different scents from the bouquet of the flowers as you carry through the house. It has a sillage to it, and, and it's different depending on what parts you're at. Flowers actually, <laughs> at different times of the day, give out uh, proponents of its essence uh, uh, differently. Sometimes the floral, the, the soft, sweet florals, sometimes the pungent and dolic middles of, of the florals, and it's, this is how this is on your skin. You're just getting those different lips of the bouquet the whole time. A little bit narcotic, uh, at times, uh, you can tell this is packed with naturals right when you, you start sniffing away. You get variant aromas that just encapture you during the first half hour, 45 minutes of the opening. No matter how down you are, you just can't help but be lifted up like a, a flower spring and forth and, and just showing itself to the world. You know, those droopy ones that just can't help themselves and pick themselves up. That's what this is to you as, as you wear this. Uh, right off the top, I would say uh, mostly indolic notes at first with a fume of the floras, florals and the sillage that is a bit narcotic. The flowers are so powerful that citrus don't even show up uh, for 15 minutes for me. Mandarin and grapefruit are on the notes list. Neither become their own note and just help hold the bouquet of flowers like a string around the bouquet. And, and just power the accord even more and give it more depth and sharpness. The, the current, the black current's really helping that sharpness I'm talking about uh, uh, to the florals, just giving a, a syrupy depth to the florals, not making them as feminine 
and just, just adding this sharp coating around them. And it's a red mandarin, whatever that is. It's definitely a richer mandarin than you're used to. Um, I can't pick them out together. They just really form like a nice sweetness that coats the flower. Another 30 minutes or so, strong oriental entils start to move in, uh, form a clove heavily. And no orientals are even mentioned in the notes, but I picked them up really strong. Uh, I'm guessing clove, I'm guessing something. I, I pick them up strong. I, I don't know any photos that give off this oriental scent, so something in there is a strong oriental to my nose. Houston, we have a company laying down that base. That base is well put together and includes all the necessary elements for a long lasting perfume. Again, the labdanum, the oak, moss, the hyserium, civet, the benzoin, the musk, literally hitting on all of these. The labdanum floats on top as just this airy, earthy loveliness. The hyoceum and the civet play with the moss perfectly underneath. After eating some sweet benzoin and vetiver, uh, they just all mix together uh, a, a perfect dry down for me. Some of my favorite hits. This is a super strong all aspect of a floral fragrance that the citrus hides behind before picking out. Um, the heavy animals can't even show their face because of how heavy the natural florals are. And when they do, you're just okay with it. Two very strong transitions. Definitely has top heart and base, soft top and heart transition before we get a huge one into the dry down. Uh, brilliant wearing overall of, of a perfume based in heavy naturals. That's what I have. Scoring for Casablanca, St. Clair. Uh, originality, Dickness, 13 out of 15. Experience is a five out of five. Projection Siaz and longevity, five out of five. Composition as a whole, 22 out of 25. Ingredients and price to ML, it's 50%. So we got to keep that in mind. I mean, I, I get we're over $6, but it's 50% concentration, 22 out of 25. Top, 10 out of 10. Heart, 4 out of 5. Base, at 7 out of 10. Final score of 88. Yeah, bottle worthy. Buy a bottle of this. You guys that want more heavy naturals, again, this, this is a place to start if you don't want to quite go 100% and want that longevity and power in your perfume. It's definitely a place to go to. Where would I wear this one? I would wear it nights out, special occasion, evenings, uh, creative mood always uh, for this kind of thing. Skip the, the hottest days of the year. All year, but skip those hottest days. Might be just a little overbearing for that. Who do I see wearing this one? Ready for this? My first double, Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman. The Casablanca movie, lead actor, lead actress. Fragrance is actually made after the movie, so gotta do it. Had to go there, had to. How many sprays? One to three, strong, strong stuff. I, I hope her, when you have 50%, I found, I mean, you really gotta pick a good vaporizer. So, I mean, you, you want a powerful vaporizer because you don't want it condensed. You want it sprayed. I want to get into this because this is one thing I've learned from my journey that I didn't know from the beginning. Application versus concentration is key to the pleasure of the wearing for me, in my opinion. Anyways, that's what I have, everyone. Thanks for being on my journey. Let's push perfume forward together. Let's wear better perfume, everybody. Peace out. Be blessed.